How's it going guys and welcome back. As you can tell we're in a little bit different setting this time. Uh, that's because we're talking about how to secure your firearms in your home. Now one of the most important parts of being a responsible gun owner is making sure that unauthorized people don't get access to your firearms. And that's even more important if you have kids obviously. The problem most people run into is how do I keep my gun secure but still be able to get to it quickly if I need to. And the reason we're here in my bedroom is because one of the most popular places to keep your home defense gun is right beside your bed. The problem with that is most people end up just keeping it on the top of the nightstand like that or they'll put it down in a drawer, but that's not very secure. So I'm going to show you what I came up with and there's a lot of different products on the market out there that try to solve this problem. Um, if you've come up with something better, something different, make sure you let us know in the comments below. Now let me show you what I went with. Now one method I've used in the past is one of these mattress holsters, which worked out great. It keeps it very accessible. It's right there beside you. And it's even pretty concealed when the bed's made, but you still can't really say that's secure. Some of the best solutions I've found are the gun vault products. The one I chose was the MVP500. This is the biometric micro vault. Now if you watch this review today and you decide you want to get one for yourself, I've put a link in the description below so you can go find one. They usually run around 180 bucks, And this thing is very well made. I believe it's an 18 gauge steel and it has a strength lock, no pry mechanism, so it's going to be hard for somebody to pry it open. It does come with a four foot security cable if you want to wrap that around your bed post. Now it runs off of a 9 volt battery and it does have a low battery light indicator right there. Just in case you're like me and you always forget to change the batteries and things, that'll help you remember that. But just in case, it does come with two override keys. And one other thing it comes with that I've never seen before is one of these Flambeau Z-Rust Corrosion Protection Blocks. Uh, now supposedly this thing is supposed to protect from rust. Uh, I'm not sure how well that works, but I'm going to use it anyway. Now if we open it up you'll see that it has this really nice foam backing and it will hold up to a full size pistol and backup magazine. Uh, this is the full size Smith & Wesson M&P 9mm and yes it is loaded because it wouldn't be doing me any good if it wasn't. Now obviously the coolest thing about this safe is the fingerprint reader. So all you have to do is hit that button, swipe your finger and it opens right up. And you can load up to 120 fingerprints in there. So after you get done loading all of your fingers and your wife's fingers you might as well go ahead and load up your toes because <laughs> why not you never know now this biometric is really quick and easy to do even in the dark so it's pretty much as fast as you can get without just leaving it out on the table now obviously this thing isn't completely theft proof it's mainly just to keep your kids or guests from getting curious, but just to help keep this guy from sprouting legs and running off, it does have mounting holes so you can screw it to your nightstand. And as you can see, that bad boy ain't going nowhere. Now fellas, before you do this, we know our wives are not going to be happy about us drilling holes into that beautiful mahogany nightstand that their mother gave you. But I'm thinking this is one of those situations where it's a little bit better to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission. And if that doesn't work, I recommend flowers, wood filler, and some fresh stain. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure you go over and check out my other video about securing your home defense shotgun. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time.